Hi, my name is Harry Ball. I work in the area of TMD, bruxism and headache. I'd like to introduce Belinda, who is a patient of mine who I've been seeing for around two years. We're going to do a demonstration. We're going to look at the intensity of clenching. We're going to look at EMG biofeedback. As you can see, Belinda has got some sensors over one of her clenching muscles. That muscle is called the temporalis muscle. These are surface electrodes. And these sensors will pick up the intensity, the degree of clenching. So we're going to get Belinda to do some clenching and grinding just on her own teeth. And then we're going to compare it to two different types of splints and just see the difference to what we pick up. I first saw Belinda about two years ago and she first came to me with concerns of having pain, jaw pain, pain in the morning and also headaches occasionally which she also woke up with and it was very clear that bruxism, clenching and grinding were a problem. I mean that was clear from the degree of wear on her teeth and so we started off making her a full mouth splint and Belinda has been able to wear that off and on. I think you felt a little bit uncomfortable. Mm. Yeah. So around six months ago we made Belinda a MCI which is a new generation anterior splint and the feedback was that it was a lot more comfortable but more importantly it got rid of the symptoms totally. Being a lot more. Yeah. So what we want to do right now is to have a look at the intensity of clenching, of voluntary maximum clenching with the full mouth splint in place and with a MCI. I think apart from comfort you were saying with the MCI that your symptoms have, have gone now, is that right? That, yes. So not getting any pain in the morning at all? No. Okay, good. So we've got the biofeedback EMG, we've got some sensors over one of the main clenching muscles. This muscle is called the temporalis muscle. And we're going to look at the readout on a computer screen of the degree, the intensity of clenching with, without the splint and then with a full mouth splint and then with the MCI splint. Okay, let's start with the demonstration and let's measure the degree of clenching that you can do with this temporalis muscle. Just adjust it there, that's great. Okay, Belinda, get nice and relaxed there. So perhaps head back now and just let the jaw muscles relax and we can see that the printout on the screen is around 2.8, 2.9 microvolts. So that's measuring the amount of muscle activity that's happening in the clenching muscle region. So Belinda, I'll get you to have a clench as hard as you can go. This is just on your own natural teeth, so clench as hard as you can go and let's just see what you can get up to. That's the way. Okay, I think you got up to about close to 170 then, so just nice and relaxed. And that's pretty high. People who brux, clench and grind can generally get up over 160. People who can't are often well below that. So that's certainly an indication that those muscles are developed and used to some exercise. So let's try it one more time. So just another clench, just as hard as you can go. And around 171. So that's pretty similar. So nice and relaxed with the jaw because we don't want your muscles getting too tired for the demo. And it'd be interesting now to check the full mouth splint. So this is the full mouth splint that Belinda has worn for quite some time. I think it's about a year and a half. So I'll let you pop it in. That's the way. And just nice and relaxed. And now I'll get you to clench as hard as you can on that splint. So all the teeth are touching that splint. You can see Belinda's getting up to about the one, I think peaked at just over 160, 163 and nice and relaxed again. Well, it's very interesting having seen that reading with the full mouth splint because we see time and time again the fact that, that patients can clench even higher with a full mouth splint than just an ordinary clench. So we can see that a full mouth splint is actually a good surface to clench and grind on. I'm going to do one more clench just as hard as you can go. I think you actually got to 172, which was again demonstrating the fact that it's possible to clench even higher with more intensity than with just an ordinary clench without anything in the mouth. So Belinda, would you like to pop the full mouth splint out and we'll try the MCI. So the MCI is a splint that you've been wearing for the last period of time quite yeah. successfully. So I'll let you pop it in again. That's the way. And 
I'll get you to have a clench again. It's as hard as you can go. It's as hard as you can clench. Okay, good. Nice and relaxed. I think they've got up to about 44. So you can see that with the MCI, there's been a very significant suppression of bruxism in the order of 75%. This is something that has been demonstrated in scientific studies around the 70, 75%. And it's this particular degree of suppression which is what got my interest in getting involved with anterior splints and developing the MCI because while we can't stop people bruxing and grinding, it tends to come from the brain. There are some strategies that help. By having a splint that suppresses bruxism, we can get a very significant improvement in the symptoms and this demonstrates the reason why. So it's seeing these demonstrations, reading the scientific literature, which has convinced myself and a lot of other dentists that the MCI is a splint that is going to be a lot more effective than a full mouth splint. Let's try it one more time. So just clench as hard as you can. We'll just see what you do this time. Just as hard as you can. Okay, this time was about 27. Okay, you're getting a bit tired there. Okay, so again, this demonstrates powerfully the suppression effect of the MCI and it goes a long way to explaining the uh, superior results that we see with anterior splints like the MCI in suppressing clenching and getting rid of symptoms. I'll get you to talk about the appliance. And so thank you again Belinda for being willing to put yourself through the procedure and thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.